I'm sure if you are living on earth you should have been introduced with the songs which are sung by AI for example here in, in India I follow I'm big fan of Sidhu Musewala and his voice is being cloned by a lot of people and actually they are singing song and then they are converting their voice into the Sidhu's voice and then uploading the song and I have noticed uh, in comment section a lot of people are not even able to differentiate uh, of course the voice is differentiable if you are a hardcore listener of that particular person but I have seen about 70 to 80 percent people are not able to differentiate the voice uh, others like Drake Drake's voice is also being cloned and being his song which he never sung are being uploaded on YouTube this technology is literally getting crazy and in this particular video this is a educational video you will be able to see how those people are able to clone some singer's voice or some voice and how you can do that uh, this is a educational video if you are trying to clone someone's voice please take their permission their consent and don't be involved in any illegal activities because of course that's not good and you will be caught someday if you are doing any illegal activity that is not obviously good so my basically idea of explaining you this whole process in a few steps the first step is the data collection process collecting raw data from over the internet open source uh, open source data set which is available over the internet getting that data then making that data good for the model which we are going to see which is called SVC model then fitting the SVC model on that particular data set which we are going to create so the first step which is getting the data so I will be trying to clone my own voice of course so I have recorded myself for five minutes and here are few clips of mine uh, you know talking some stuff reading some stuff and then recording myself reading that stuff uh, I would recommend you should have at least around recordings of about one hour or 40-50 minutes at least for getting a good model you should have at least recording of that particular length now once you have this particular length of data set if you have a powerful computer you are good to go you can start doing the stuff on your own machine but my laptop is not powerful enough to train that model so I'm going to take help of Google Colab and so for that purpose you will have to upload these recordings on your google drive so the next thing you will have to do is to create a new folder called songs and a new folder called vocals now if you are trying to clone someone's voice who is singing and there are instru instruments in the background so you'll have to upload those particular audio tracks inside this particular folder and if you are trying to clone someone's voice who is actually just talking there are no instruments uh, being running in the background so you just have to upload them inside the vocals so in our case these are just my audio recordings so I'll have to upload them inside my vocals folder now below in the description I have tried to make your work as simple as possible so I created two collaborate two Google collab notebooks one is for preparing the data set so one is for preparing the data set and the other is for training on that particular data set so these four, both of these notebooks will be in down description you will just have to go and click on this first which is uh, sovis dataset dmux.ipynb it will be in down description you click on that link and you will be taken over here okay so our data set is now uploaded inside the vocals folder you will have to click on connect button which will be right over here once you click on connect button you will have to go to runtime change runtime type and make sure you do it GPU well for this purpose CPU would also be good enough but GPU will going to fasten up the things so once you are connected to the runtime you should see these three activity monitors of your RAM, GPU RAM and disk now once you are connected you will have to click on the first cell which is install dependencies now it is going to take a while to install dmux which is used to extract the vocals from the song then this sound file and librosa are for you know reading the audio files saving the audio files working with the audio files these two libraries are used now once the dependencies are installed next you will have to click on this button which is import so we are just going to import the modules libraries which we are going to use then setting path so over here you see we have songs path and vocals path which is pointing to our vocals and songs so you just have to click on this now one more thing you just click on this files button and if this drive button is not showing over here and you don't have this drive folder over here you will have to click on this drive to connect your google drive with your collab notebook since we have uploaded our data set on our drive so that's why you will have to connect your drive with your collab notebook now once this particular step is done next step is extract vocals so as I said we, no, we don't have songs 
in our data set so we are not going to run it but in your case if you have songs you will have to run this cell also next is removing the silence so you you will have to run this particular cell and then you will have to run this particular cell so this cell will going to create a new folder called non silence and this is basically going to iterate over all the files inside the vocals and split at when a silence occur so we are just going to click on this so this basically this code is taken from taken from this particular repository so i will also going to link this repository in down description if you want to check this out so next you have to do after you run this particular cell as i said you should have a new folder which will be non silenced and here we have this non silenced folder and inside this we will have all the audio clips which are split at the silence now the last thing you will have to do is to split all these files which are in this non silenced folder the audio files split at silence over here now after that you will have to run this particular cell so as recommended by sovits svc repository they recommend to split or create the segments of audio file of about 5 to 10 seconds each so we are going to split the audio files at 6 seconds so we'll have small small clips audio clips of 6 second each so you just have to click on this cell don't have to get in detail you can actually increase or reduce this seconds about it should be between 5 to 10 seconds it as recommended by svc repository now once you do this you should have finally the sliced folder which is the only folder we are interested in okay so now finally you should have 6 second audio clips a lot of audio clips each of 6 second as recommended by svc so it's svc repository now our work of preparing the dataset is over from here now you just have to disconnect the runtime so you will have to click on this then manage session and then terminate this particular session all right now you will going to go inside the description of this video you will have to open the other collab notebook which will be sovitstrain.ipynb now again you will have to connect to this particular runtime so here we are now we will have to connect to the runtime and this time also you will have to go runtime change runtime type and make sure the gpu is selected and then click on save okay now once the runtime is connected next thing you will have to do is go in over here and run each cell one by one so let's do this stuff first of all you will have to connect to the google drive so let's just wait connect to google drive choose the email address and click allow just wait for it to finish once the execution of this particular cell is finished you should have this drive folder in over here after that you will have to click on have to run this pre trained model cell only once only the first time you will going to click on this so for the first time since we are running this to clone my voice so i will have to click on this and from the next times whenever you want to retrain the model you don't have to run this now next you will have to run this particular cell and click on this cell to uh, expand that particular cell now click on this and press y to proceed and once again y to proceed now this particular cell will going to take a while about i would say 5 to 10 minutes so you just have to wait over here so i'll be back once this the execution of this particular cell is finished all right so the above cell has been executed successfully no error then next you'll have to execute this particular cell which is writing files and path next you'll have to click on this particular cell which is linked data set next resample now this particular cell will going to take a while when you have a lot of data which you should have in our case it shouldn't be that much of time we have really just 5 minute of audio clips the next you will have to click on generate config and then generate hubert okay this is executed as well now this part is important listen carefully now you will have to save the data set now when you have a lot of data set this particular generate hubert as well as a uh, resample part will going to take a lot of time so for that particular purpose you will have to save the processed data set right now once you save it you will have to go back to your drive and inside your sovits you should have data set dot zip file as you see over here which is data set dot zip file so next time when you do this let me just zoom out so next time when you have this data set dot zip file you will you can actually skip this link data set resample generate config generate hubert and saving part you just have to click on loading pre process so you see how much time it is going to save for you so since we are running it first time we already have loaded the data set from the above steps so you will have you will no longer have to click 
on this particular cell now finally you have to click on train and this is the time taking process now to say uh, if you get back to this logs and then 44k currently we are having g0 and d0 these are pre-trained models it is going to take about i would say depending on your data set 12 to 14 hours to at least fit uh, well on the particular voice and then further you will have to train keep on training about once you get g underscore let's say 40,000 30,000 g underscore 30,000 is pretty good model in my particular situations when I trained for the vo voices which I know so g underscore 30,000 is pretty good model now this particular is going to run for epoch 1 epoch 2 epoch 3 and so on it, it is going to keep on doing that and in between it is going to save after every 800 so g underscore 800 then g underscore 1600 so after every six uh, after every 800 it is going to save the model and delete the previous one so you will have to make sure that your particular storage does not fill out so just google provide you just 15 gb of storage so you just have to clear the bin after every few hours now as far as epochs are concerned you have to run about 500 to 1000 epochs now if you want to update the saving process you can click on this file then soviets then configs and then config.json and once you come over here you will see evaluation interval so you can reduce it let's say 400 if you want to save the model after every 400 800 after every 800 so you just get the point and over here is the uh, is the learning rate you can actually play with this value i would say this is pretty good value okay so now once it is keep on running once you are satisfied that big number of train model you can stop this basically by clicking on this icon now in order to clone or uh, in order to make prediction or clone someone's voice you will have to run this infer cell basically so what you have to do is to go back to your drive then so it's for data and then inside this raw folder you will have to upload that audio clip so for example here i have this testing underscore audio underscore zero file so you will have to upload that particular file inside this raw folder okay once the upload is completed go back to your collab notebook and uh, this wave file name just update that wave file name to whatever audio you want to clone which is testing underscore audio underscore zero dot wave file which is this particular file then the model name so you just have to go back to so we strain logs 44k now currently we have the latest model which is g underscore zero if you have larger number you can use that so for now we have this g underscore zero so i'll just replace that particular with this g underscore zero dot pth and later on if you want to clone some voice which is not singing you can set this enhanced to true which is in our case which is true if you want to clone someone's voice some voice which is singing you can set it to false so currently i'll set it to true and then later on you can run this cell as it is now after few seconds it is going to okay we got error which is obviously because the file name was test underscore audio so i'll just change the file name to test underscore audio underscore zero dot wave now after few seconds you should have the clone voice in front of you so you just have to wait okay now it has converted that voice and it is downloading over here now you just have to click on allow and it is going to download this is the particular voice which is cloned by the voice which of course is nothing because obviously we haven't trained our model yet uh, what I have already done I have trained my model for about so I have trained my model for about 12,000 so I have G underscore 12,000 so after 12,000 I was able to get this voice so after 12,000 G underscore 12,000 model have this close voice to me uh, I would say about double of this epoch I should have much better version of my voice so you just have to train your model for a lot of epochs and once you are satisfied with the model you can start making the predictions upload the audio file change the file over here and download the file basically now this whole code is taken from this particular repository which of course i am going to link in down description which is so wits svc so i guess i'll end this video right over here and if you have any queries regarding this you can ask down comment section uh, once again this video was for educational purpose I hope you have learned something new and of course once you know that this kind of technologies exist it is also going to keep you safe
from the scams which might happen from these kind of technologies so next time when you receive a call from your loved one do not believe on that particular voice unless you see him face to face right so i would end this video right over here if you have any queries ask them in down comment section we'll see you in the next video if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe because a lot of such stuff is on the way